Today we're gonna to be talking about integrating Amazon Cognito user pools in your .NET application. A user pool is a user directory in Amazon Cognito. With a user pool, your users can sign into your web or mobile apps through Amazon Cognito. Amazon Cognito user pools provide a secure user directory that scales to hundreds of millions of users. As a fully managed service, user pools are easy to set up without any worries about standing up server infrastructure. First, navigate to the Amazon Cognito service and click the Manage User Pools button. To create a new pool, give your pool name, such as Cognito Sample Pool. You'll see a bunch of attributes for your newly created user pool. Scroll down App Clients and click Add App Client. An app is an entity within a user pool that has permission to call unauthenticated APIs, APIs that do not have an authenticated user, such as APIs to register, sign in, and handle forgotten passwords. To call these APIs, you need an API client ID and an optional client secret. Now, return to the Amazon Cognito homepage, and this time, click Manage Identity Pools. Amazon Cognito Identity Pools provide temporary AWS credentials for users who are guests and for users who have been authenticated and received a token. An identity pool is a store of user identity data specific to your account. Give your identity pool a name, such as Cognito Sample App, and scroll down to Authentication Providers. And while on the Cognito table, specify the user pool ID and app client ID from the previous step where you created your Cognito user pool. The creation process will create two IAM roles, one for unauthenticated users and one for authenticated users. These will be the roles that the Cognito users will assume. In my example, I'm listing buckets from S3. You need to make sure your IAM role for Cognito has the appropriate permissions to perform the actions you want. Take note of the identity pool ID, as we will need this in our code. Now let's create a .NET application that will authenticate against Amazon Cognito user pools. First, create a console application and add a NuGet package called awssdk.extensions.cognitoauthentication, which is an extension library for .NET Framework 4.5 and .NET Core that helps assist in the Amazon Cognito user pools authentication process. I'm going to copy and paste code, and then we'll walk through the different parts of the code. The first step is initialize an Amazon Cognito Identity Provider client, which will allow us to perform several actions, including the authorization of users. Next, we initialize a Cognito user pool and Cognito user object with the username, app pool ID, client ID, and the provider object we just created. The next step is to use server-side authentication flow to authenticate the user. We can use a server-side authentication flow, admin no SRP auth, as we're running our code on a server and not on the client side. Once we've done the authentication as the Cognito user, we can request temporary short-lived credentials from Cognito by calling get Cognito AWS credentials on the user object we created. This method will return a Cognito AWS credentials object that we can pass into AWS service clients to make calls to those AWS APIs as the Cognito user. Now let me build and run the application so you can see the code list all my S3 buckets successfully using my credentials from the Cognito user pool. While this concludes this presentation of integrating Amazon Cognito user pools in your .NET application. Thanks for watching.